Hi, it's Trace. I wanted to chat a little bit about whether you feel you're in the right space. And you can't know that unless I tell you what the space is about. If you are ready for change, earnestly, deeply, if you are beyond giving lip service to wanting to change, if you are ready to hear tough things and engage with them, if you are ready to grab your life with both hands and give it a damn good shake, if you are ready to put in effort consistently every day, if you are ready to work at a life that you dream about, if you are ready to process and release things that are weighing on you, then you're probably ready to be here. But if when I speak in any of the videos that I've placed around this channel, you feel anxious or attacked or offended in any way, nothing is ever meant as any of those here. And if you're feeling that way, this may not be the space for you yet. This may not be the part of the journey that you're ready for yet. A journey of self-discovery and self-acceptance and self-love is incredibly long and ongoing, I think. <laughs> I've been on it for years and <laughs> it just keeps expanding and expanding. So the point at which you find me, the point at which perhaps I may join you and walk along the road with you and speak of tools and skills that may help you to grow, uh, it's a it's a point that things get a little tougher but better so me personally I'm not someone who can sugarcoat things easily um, not because that's the way I've been treated uh, it's just because that that really doesn't serve and it took me a long time personally to realize that my skills and teaching come from personal experience um, and I'm Without doubt, happy to say that I have no formal qualifications in the guidance or mentoring any of those spheres. I am a human looking to share my human experience with you and in doing so, mentor or guide. I am not going to try and teach you things that are psychologically based. I am not going to tell you that I have degrees in anything because what I am is human being in the best way I know how and I learn daily and those those learnings are what I share but I do so from the perspective of having learned often the hard way um, but in ways in which actually move me forward so if you feel that you are not secure enough on your journey yet to be grappling and digging quite hard I'm not for you and that is perfectly okay. We're not for each other. You are in a different section of this incredible journey. In a different league entirely on our journey across the ocean to self. And as there are bazillions of leagues of the sea, I will always salute anyone wherever they are on their path and their journey and wish you well. But I would rather you be enormously certain that you need to be with me in this space before you step in here. I am not someone who cuddles. I am not someone who is going to encourage you to nurture and hold on to pain. Um, and if you are still in a, a place of needing to um, placate and hold your wounds, which you often do in the beginning of a journey, and that's perfectly normal. If you're still very raw and you're still very aware and functioning from wounds and hurt, it's too soon to be near me. Um, you're going to find me abrasive and unfortunately too much. Um, <clears throat> although naturally to someone who is at this space in their journey, my, my speech, my way of handling is not abrasive. It's... It's realistic for where we are. Um, when I first began my journey, everything felt like an attack. Everything. Everything anyone said, anything anyone did, 
it was an attack. Um, it was all personal. Um, people would have conversations with me and small things would trigger me. I would assume that everything that they were doing was to hurt me, um, that it was intentional because my wound was making my decisions. Um, and the, the learning that's come from moving past that is that very little uh, of what people say and do day to day, just on the surface, is actually intended to connect deeply with us, either positively or negatively. So worrying more about ourselves and what we're doing is where we're going to be here. Um, there will be coping skills and tools handed over that help us cope with when we feel those emotions. But where we are here, where you and I would spend space and time interacting, you have found the ability to want empowerment in your own space. You're not waiting for somebody else to do this for you. You're not hoping that somebody can make sense of everything. You know it's you. Everything on this journey is on us. And everything is a choice. And those two lines are crucial as to whether you feel that you could last in the space with me in a nourishing way. Everything is on us. Everything is a choice. If either of those two statements don't sit well with you, then it's okay for us not to spend time together. It's as simple as that. And I bid you blessings and love on your journey and strength and courage and all that is good that you need I have been right from the very beginning of a journey and beyond that so I have empathy and compassion for wherever you're at and I honor your journey deeply feel free to ask questions in the comments below if you have any <laughs> If you have anything specific failing that if you hop onto my website you're welcome to message me from there work out a little better what it is that you may or may not need and whether i am right for that i would much rather us be a good fit together as a team for a give and receive situation than just be someone you buy a course off on the internet i've been there i've been the girl who bought all the self-help things some of them were amazing and some of them weren't and I wish that I had taken the time to reach out and speak to the person who put the course together because I think if you are the person creating these spaces and these courses your intent has to be to help and although you cannot be personally available to every single person out there you can make space to make certain that a person should be or shouldn't be working within the dynamic of your space. I think that's incredibly fair. Everybody on a healing journey has enough on their plate. They don't need to be blindsided by not knowing what's going on. So as often as I can, I am pretty blunt. <laughs> I'm honest in the kindest way I can manage. But anything else would be a disservice to this journey and to myself. So I welcome you again. If you haven't been through my welcome video, pop over and have a look there. Um, otherwise, I hope to see more of you. I hope to walk alongside you. And I hope to share in the ways in which I have been shared with over the years. From my heart to yours. Wishing you a beautiful day.